Well, welcome back to XCOM 2. Yes, uh, this is gonna start from this screen. I don't remember where the last episode left off, but, uh, but things have happened since then. Um, get you something better. Um, stock and repeater. What do you have right now? Air trigger and repeater. That isn't that bad. I'm not getting really bad to that. Um, can we get you a better scope? Give somebody more experience. I actually don't know if we really want this this team, but say um Take Elena, because that's that's why I took the first time I did this mission and it crashed. So that's lovely. Um, sometimes it does that. You're fine too. Um, Cat is however not fine and is here again, annoyingly. Um, yes. Can't add anything else to that. Um, I think we're good. Are we? Hmm. Send somebody else is that you? And you. I want to get all of my um, my A team promoted because usually at this point I wouldn't be trying to do that. But um, I guess I am. Oh. I don't know why I say the things I do, I just made everything sound so confusing. Okay, now I think we're ready to go. Got a lot of fun smaller games lined up for after this. What? Main um main video like formula that uh that the audience likes, but uh, I guess I just I just keep keep making videos. Not really think about it. Chosen is leading an assault on the resistance encampment in this area. Our people are doing what they can to fight back, but we need to help protect the civilians trapped nearby. There's a group of resistance soldiers hunkered down not far from your position. Move in and help fend off the attacking alien forces. Okay.
Why does it always put the people who can move farthest at the back? I hope you can keep up. Go here. So you keep saying. On the move. Faster. Covering ground. I don't think we're concealed for this one. So, uh, when we reveal an enemy, we just engage in combat with them immediately. I did not mean to do that. I wasn't... I am very much, um... Like, constantly have my hands over the mouse. And, like, basically, like... Clicking. Who do you want to go first? Probably Lena. I'm on the move. I don't want to move uh, you up further. Move you further. I think this is about the same as before. The chrysalis and the man's. I hate chrysalids. I hate it when you encounter them on the um. Uh... I hate it when you encounter them on these um these missions, the uh. Haven assaults or whatever they're called. Your call. Fair enough. These chrysalids seem a little smaller. Very neat looking guys. This is a very like um I feel like chrysalids are a design that I've seen a lot. In like science fiction. But uh I think that they are they are in fact like mildly intimidating because of uh what they what they do. Which is quite quite horrific. Like the creature design in this game is a lot better than the writing. Like the world design and everything. Like um the, the chrysalids that their whole thing is that they they kill things and then their children will come out of those things. Which is like very sci-fi. Go, 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 go. But it's, and it's just very, like, you can't imagine something like that happening 
here. And that's like, I feel like that's, that's the point of aliens. And see, like this guy, like he, he doesn't really like, move. He just travels as like a cloud of something, like, <laughs> nanobots or something? I don't know. And then he, then he does that, you know. They all, they all do something slightly different than the other. Oh, he's gonna die. He's got the, he's got the poison on him. And he stole my kill, so he's definitely gonna die. I don't know if crystalline poison always kills, but I'm pretty sure it does. I also really like the Andromedox design. Like how it like how it's not like like a creature that comes back to life after you kill it is like a new concept. But like the way it's presented with the Andromedon makes it feel like very like alien. But I do know where I've been. I want him to go up to the roof. We get to him before he turns to a pod. I don't want to move too far forward, or we're going to get poisoned as well. might be better to come in from the outside like that. You know who can't get poisoned by chrysalid? Spark. That's lovely. Lovely information. Okay. 
have. It's a crystal, uh, not crystal, that's a codex somewhere. For the noise. I'd kill that chrysalid pod. Move up, uh, the spark. That's lovely. Oh, look, it's more um, it's more materials for my uh, for my mimic beacons. I'm going to need more ammunition. I never feel scared of the uh, the 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 man uh, the, the what are they called again? The faceless. That's what they're called. Play this game how many times and I still don't know? Eight. So I can't keep their name straight. Tired of waiting around. I have to humanize them. I think they're nothing but material raw materials to me. We want you to go. I am trusting you. I don't know if we want to. Does anybody else have a turn? You do. You're not going to go anywhere. Uh, I'm all over. I don't know if I want her to be revealed My and girl. be fighting this uh, this pod alone. Oh, that resistance press instead. Oh, look at that. Yes, kill that. Don't kill that. Don't bother with that. There's a codex up there. Yeah, shoot at that. You don't need to shoot at the big guy. I'm not worried about the big guy. Yeah, sure. You need to take the experience. How many is that now? Yeah. Could just blow them up. 
and I wouldn't get hard hollow targeting on him. And it wouldn't kill him. It didn't wouldn't have uh would do as much damage. You, you are the most dangerous thing on the field. Actually, it is probably the Codex that's that's more dangerous. Uh, I think I'm actually wrong. Because the Codex has way more annoying attacks than the Mutile. Um, throw a Mimic Beacon so it doesn't go after the civilians. And create more Chrysalid Pods. Um, I'm reloading. Hmm. I want you to be there. Let's put you like right here. Lightning hands. Cashed out the old man. Probably pointless, but I see. Baby, wow, we wow, wow. I think I can actually heal them if I wanted to. I'm not sure though. I don't remember. I don't think I've ever tried to heal a resistance member because they usually don't need any help. But I actually kind of want to keep that resistance member alive. Never mind, they did. Here I come. Hunting them down. Okay, you right there. Let's move already. Adjusting aim. Running dry on ammo. Let's go. Not much finesse, but a lot of bang. Cover is pretty awkward here. Let's do this. I wonder if he's gonna hit. No, oh, phew. I thought he was gonna miss a hundred percent shot. Ah, the open spaces, the fresh air. And 
efficient kill. Menace one five, you secured the remaining civilians, and there are no other hostile contacts on the scope. Good work out there. That was lovely. Um, lovely little little mission there. Even now, our enemy lurks in the shadows, plotting to destroy all we have built. To return us to the chaos of the old world. Only together can we oppose them. United in the elders' love for us, we shall prevail, no matter the cost. Well, that'll be it for this one. Goodbye. Please come back.